Hello fellow citizens, welcome back and thank you for joining me today. Alright my friends, today we are standing outside of our Drake Caterpillar with the beautiful Luminalia skin on it. We are with the Caterpillar because we are going to go over journal and how to use the price commodity alert. Basically the price commodity alerts are for people who just want to do cargo hauling. So the way you read it is right here, Deacon's Research Outpost, which is over on Yella, is currently overstock on medical supplies, so they're selling them for a discounted price of $15.75 each. And then you pop over to Crew L1, they are understock on medical supplies and paying $19.36 a piece per unit. So we're going to go fill up with as much medical supplies as we can in our Caterpillar and then head over to Cruel one to sell them. So we'll see you when we get there. These price commodity alerts that we're on right now for the medical supplies is also a really good way to save more money, i.e. earn more money in preparation for the Nine Tails events. So if you ever see a price commodity alert for medical supplies while Nine Tails event is waiting to happen pick a cargo ship stock up store it your cargo will be safe until nine tails event starts and then you'll have a full cargo of cheap medical supplies that you can turn around and sell for even more so while you're stuck in quantum and can't really do much else i recommend popping back into your journal and checking for further updates there may be something closer to your location that pops up or the location that you plan on buying from or selling to may no longer be overstock or understock. So while you're in quantum, periodically, just check, make sure. Every time you get the commodity alert pop up, check it. Make sure that you're, what you're selling is still valid or what you're going after is still valid. Oh man, I really love this skin, it's so pretty. All right, we are arriving at Deacon's Research. We are going to hope that they have medical supplies readily available. We are also going to hope that what happened last night while I tried filming this does not happen again. While we were inside buying, a player's NPC bounty spawned right above us and destroyed our ship. It was rather annoying. Press I just to kill our engines, leave our shields up and running. And then we haul. Alright, well let's hope that we have enough medical supplies here to fill up our caterpillar. It's unlikely, but you know, we can be hopeful. We're gonna buy everything we can. 43,348 SCU for 745,731 AUEC. Leaving us with just a couple hundred AUEC. I left us with 10 AUEC actually and now we're gonna head over to crew l1 and go sell it and we will see how much money we earn on this haul now we could also just park this in the hangar and just wait for the next nine tails event and then we'll have 400 and whatever we just bought to be able to sell at the beginning of the nine tails events for even more profit since we bought it at a discounted price but let's get back up into our pilot seat. The deck the hull skin for the Caterpillar, I'm not a fan of. It's just an olive drab green, big deal. But this one, man, it looks so good. Bee, white box. Medical supplies. And more medical supplies. And more medical supplies. So we have almost filled up the caterpillar. I should think that we will. We should break a mill. Assuming we don't get attacked by pirates or players or have anything stupid happen, which, let's face it, with my luck, stupid will happen. Engines online. Set our destination for. Rue L1, Ambitious Dream, Gage our Quantum, open our Moby, go back into our journal, Commodity Price Alerts, and we are looking for Crew L1. Uh, 
Okay, they are still under stock. Buying them for 1936. And sometimes places will show up with better deals too. I don't know about for medical supplies, but I know some of these other ones like processed foods, you can sometimes get them just purchased a little bit lower or a little bit higher. We are gonna aim slightly over the ambitious dream. That way if we don't slow down in time, we don't crash and lose all of our monies. But I mean, come on. How gorgeous is this ship? The Drake Caterpillar in blue and white. Oh, it looks so good. And I got too distracted. We gonna flip, we gonna flip, we gonna flip, flip, flip. And then we are going to thrust in the opposite direction to come to a stop. Come on, you got this. There you go. Alright, now let's go request a landing, and it'll probably tell us to go to a hangar. Yeah, it looks like we're going to a hangar. Alright. And just like that, my friends, our cargo is safe. And then we'll retract because we don't want somebody coming into the wrong cargo bay. And stealing our ship. Oh, that blue looks so good, though. I can't get over it. Ooh, ooh we came close there, didn't we? Alright, so we're gonna store our ship. Store. We are stored. We are 100% safe. Now let's go make some money. We're gonna head up to the Galleria, and then we are gonna go to Admin. It's kind of weird being at the Ambitious Dream and not Quantanium Land. The only time I ever come here is with my Prospector. To the Admin office. Interact with the console. Sell. Drake Caterpillar, 47,000 units at 1937 a unit. That's a $4 difference times 47,000. And they'll only buy a thousand. And now, my friends, we play the waiting game. So we just earned 20,000 on that, and we still have 897,000 to go. So that's roughly 917,297 AOEC total that we'll be getting. We paid 745,000, so realistically it's a profit of about 150,000. We were so close to breaking a mill, but it's fine. It is what it is, and it ain't what it ain't. And I won't complain, because this is still pure profit, really. 100,000 is better than nothing. So who else needs medical supplies? You could go from location to location just selling all your medical supplies, or you could just hop servers. We'll just sit here and sell it all here. I don't want to risk flying anywhere else. The more time we spend in space, the higher the chance of pirates, or players, or random asteroids spawning directly in front of your ship. But that's it. We're going to sell it all for a total of 917000 so a rough... 150k profit which realistically not that bad especially when you're considering that these commodity price alerts are not designed to actually make money it's just another cargo hauling gameplay loop for those that don't have enough money to buy laranite or anything else like that this is just to get your foot in the door get you a taste of it and get you going on the right path towards cargo hauling but that's all i got for you today before i let you go however i will say we did our first official twitch stream today so if you'd ever like to join us for the foreseeable future we'll be streaming every friday we might hop in a couple other days of the week we've also got our discord link in the description below and if you would like to join the org also link in the description below i will add the twitch link in the description too y'all have a good one thank you for joining me and i'll see you in the verse